create random workday dates with Excel formula? Below Excel Magic Trick 1894, Ovi asked if we could create random workdays. Well, we need to know a few things before we can create our formula. What is the start work date? And that is a workday. We need the end workday, and that's a workday too. What are the holidays? We have to list them out. And we need to know when the weekend is. And there's a great trick in both Workday.International and NetWorkday.International. We can add a string of zeros and one, where zero means, hey, that's a workday, and one means that's not a workday. And it always starts with Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That one means, hey, Wednesday is a weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, well, that's a weekend too. And once we have that information, we can create a formula before we create our final formula that counts the number of days between workday one and the last workday. Now, this formula will be a helper cell, so we don't have to calculate it in every one of the cells over here, equals net working days. Now, working days was before Excel 2010. International came 2010 Excel and later and it has an amazing weekend argument. So we give it the start, comma, end, comma. And since we do not have an option here for Sunday and Wednesday, this is when we put our text string in. Double quotes, Monday, Tuesday, one means that is a weekend. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, end, double quote, comma, and holidays. Now I already added actual define names to name each one of these cells and this range. So that's why those are popping up. When I hit enter, 249. Now, to randomly generate workdays between these two workdays, begin and end, we need to say, hey, go back one, and then we'll randomly choose number of workdays to jump ahead, one to 249. And here we use another great international function, workday.international. Here's the start, comma. And for days, this is where we use ran between. Now I'm going to start at one for the bottom, and that means since this is going to add days, minus one. That's exactly the day before. So this is when we add one. This will be when we add 249. So there's the bottom, comma. Top, close parentheses, and that's it. This function knows to jump ahead a number of workdays, comma. We do need to give it the weekend. Double quote, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, close, comma, and our holidays. Defined names are by default locked, so we don't need to lock them because we're going to copy this formula, Control-Enter, and copy it down. Now, just like a couple of videos ago, I don't have an F9 key to randomize. So I have to go up to Formulas, Calculation, and click. You can see in the screen tip, F9. So click, click, click. Randomly creating workdays. Now, if we want to spill this, we just have to make a function argument array operation and give it a bunch of random numbers and say for the rand array function, how many rows? So rand array, number of rows, 10, comma, we skip, comma, min is 1, comma, max, number of days, comma, and we definitely want integer, 1 or true, and close. So the only thing we changed was instead of rand between and copy, rand array, control, enter. Now if I change this to 5, bam, it's working. If I change this to 7 slash 5, I'm making sure that this is a workday. And now we're getting random dates from the day before this and randomizing between 1 and 127. All right, that's a little fun with Networking Days International, Workday.International, and Ram Between or Rand Array. All right, we'll see you next Excel Magic Trick.